Hey, I'm Banks, and I'm about to play Open Up with Urban Outfitters. Okay, so let's do yellow. Y-E-L-L-O-W, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. During your live set, each song has a specific color of light associated with it. What goes into that? It's really just, for me, like an intuitive thing. A natural atmosphere starts forming in my head, and whatever color the main hue of that atmosphere is is what I usually like the lighting to be during the show. B-L-U-E, four. One, two, three, four. What do you hope listeners take away from three? You know, for me, my favorite music always makes me feel heard, like, like somebody else has been through what maybe I have been through, so I feel a really deep connection to the artist, so I hope people feel like that. Red, R-E-D, three. One, two, three. How's the process been building a home after touring nonstop for so long? It's been uh, refreshing and interesting. I was in a different place than I was when my career first started, so I almost had to like rediscover what I liked to do and how I wanted to have my surroundings in my house and stuff. I don't know if that makes sense, but it was interesting. What was it like working with BJ Burton and the other collaborators on the new album? Finding collaborators is kind of like dating. You just have to see who you connect with the most, and your lives need to line up to where what you do inspires this person and what they do inspires you and it needs to come together. I worked mostly with BJ Burton, Buddy Ross, and Hudson Mohawk on this album and I worked with Paul Epworth on one song. They all inspire different parts of me. BJ is kind of this like romantic dragon energy <laughs> and Buddy is, has like more of like a tender innocence to his sound and Hudson Mohawk has like this growl. Everybody brought something different out of me and so um, it was amazing. Crowded Places was in the final scene of Girls. What are some memorable final scene songs that have stuck out to you? I like when artists write for movies. I've written for films before and it always brings out a little something different than when you're just making your album and when you're just writing for yourself. It's fun and sometimes to just like mold what you do around an atmosphere rather than making what you do and discovering the atmosphere as you do it. I love cartoons so I could probably just list off every intro and outro to every cartoon, which is kind of embarrassing, but. Next question. Did you ever get crazy calls or texts when you gave out your number on Facebook? I actually did. I, I actually got like a lot of calls from prison. It was really random. Like maybe there was like a magazine with my number in it. This is getting dark. All right. <laughs> we heard you've recorded 45 tracks for the new album. How do you sift through to find what you like? That was probably the hardest part for me because making music is so natural, but sifting through the creations that you've made feels like you almost have to objectify your own art and choose favorites. And that's really hard for me. In the end, I just think it's a really intuitive thing. I ended up choosing 13 songs that I feel really make up what I've been going through and what I've been working through and really give you a really good idea of where I'm at right now. Talk about the hashtag tits out for banks. Somebody online started that after I, you know, I released my first image uh, that was like the cover artwork for Gimme, which was me holding my breast. <laughs> uh, so somebody else started doing that and then everybody started doing that. I want to empower people and I want to make people feel powerful and confident and sometimes even a little bit cocky. Sometimes you just gotta grab your own boob and feel really powerful. And cut. <laughs> Thank you for playing Open Up With Me. That was really fun answering some of your questions. The Hey Arnold uh, intro song. Arnold, and it's like, move it football head. Hey Arnold. <laughs> that song's fucking good.